Now let's see how you can set the object styles for this project. So the object styles for the project are linked with the theme. So you can just go to edit object style manager and modify the properties of these uh, objects that are available. So either you can just go ahead and make changes to the default caption style and the default success failure hint and partially correct uh, captions or you can add your own. So if you want a different maybe a title caption style you can just simply clone it and name it as title caption style if you feel that this is uh, uh, the style that you'll be using the most you can set it as a default style or you can just leave it and then uh, whenever you want to apply you can just go ahead and choose title caption style and here I can just go ahead and say I want 34 points and I want the color to be um, I want this color to be uh, the title color and I want it to be bold I want it to be centrally aligned and middle aligned and that's all I want to do for my uh, title uh, caption style so I can create uh, this nicely I can set it as default if I want similarly for buttons I can go ahead and uh, make changes here uh, to the button so you can see that the quiz button style has been saved and um, the other buttons are still uh, that yellow button so you can go ahead and make changes to the other button style so that if you add the other buttons uh, the same style is followed so you can do that and uh, you can also um, go ahead and modify the quizzing object so you can take a look at each and every object and make it look and feel as a part of the same theme that you have created once you're done with making all these changes just click apply and click ok and those changes will be added to the theme that you are working on. The next thing we'll style is the TOC and the skin. So just go to themes and you will find this option table of contents. So when you add a course you will find a table of contents uh, appearing on the right hand side once you select show TOC. And here you can see that we had chosen the woody theme and this theme is completely related to the woody theme so let's go ahead and make changes to it click settings and you will find this section under this uh, box which says theme explicitly which means that whatever changes you make in this particular area will be linked to the theme that you are working on okay so here let's uh, go ahead and make some changes here and for background let's go ahead and uh, choose uh, maybe we we'll go with a little darker gray and the heading I want it to be this darkest shade and DOC outline I want it to be maybe this shade okay active entry should be of this color so just pick, go ahead and pick color from the design that you have on your screen and you will be able to uh, make sense of it so let me just choose a little lighter shade in this so that's here and title so title I want the darkest shade to be there so let's select this. So you can see that the play bar looks a little uh, off here but we will make sure that we uh, make it correct. You can also go ahead and make changes to the font here to match uh, with the font that you have chosen for your course so that it goes uh, along well and here you, you can have five different levels of text that you can modify and you can choose all these options here. Just remember, whatever changes you make in this theme box will be applicable on your uh, in your theme. So I'll click OK here and these changes will be applied. Let's go to the border section and again here you see this box nicely labeled as theme. Here you can choose textures, you can choose color. So maybe I want a border of uh, this darkest shade uh, to be appearing on 
all four sides okay so that it looks pretty nice but I don't want the width to be 30 let's make it four so that it's a nice thin line here and you can see that this is a little off we'll correct it by changing the properties of the play bar so let's go to the play bar and here again you can see this theme box so here you get an opportunity to choose uh, the default play bar just remember that you don't have to choose the play bar from here if you choose a play bar from here it means you are changing the play bar for the project but if you choose the play bar from here it means that you will you are modifying the play bar for that particular theme so this is included with the theme this is a part of the project so just uh, make sure you're choosing the right uh, play bar so let's uh, maybe choose dark chocolate or maybe chalkboard I think chalkboard is good so let's go with the chalkboard and here we will go ahead and make changes to the colors so for background I want the same color that we chose for this so that it looks a part of the family uh, for button face uh, we will choose maybe a little lighter shade here So let's pick a little lighter shade Or maybe I can just go with this one yeah so uh, this looks pretty neat and uh, the buttons uh, button glow maybe we can take this color so that it looks pretty nice and the button icon this can be this shade okay so now you can see that it looks pretty neat and we have um, matched the the table of contents the border and the skin with the modifications that we've made to the theme